No matter what type of business that you are running, you will need supplies regularly. When procuring your supplies, it is important to keep track of how often you use them within your specific purchasing cycle. There will be times where you will need extra supplies during some seasons and fewer supplies during others. At the end of your fiscal year, you should make special notes on these changes to help you to better utilize your supply chain with your suppliers. In this video, I will cover some practical tips on how to best manage and maintain your supply chain. When choosing suppliers, you need to be clear about the needs of your business to ensure the supplier can meet your demands. You will want to go over all of the details with them that meet the standards that you require, such as the quality of your products, meeting deadlines, and what warranties they offer. It's also important to always work with multiple suppliers for the same product. Things go wrong in business. Shipments can be delayed, technical glitches can interfere, and miscommunication can take place. It is better to have a backup than to go without. The more you communicate with your supplier, the less likely that things can go sideways with your orders. The last thing that you want to do is to surprise them with a last minute order that you need immediately. That simply doesn't build any sort of trust or good business etiquette with your supplier. If mistakes do happen though, don't be hard on your supplier if it was an honest mistake. You will make mistakes too, so allow a little grace. Another thing to consider is to make regular orders at intervals planned out from your inventory tracking. By planning your orders ahead of time, you know that you will always have a regular inventory stash, and you should be able to save money on overhead by buying in bulk. Finally, Make sure you fairly negotiate your prices in your contracts. When both your business and your supplier have an established relationship, all of these factors will be second nature. Not only will you receive preferential treatment, but you will also get better rates. Once you have received your inventory from your supplier, it is important to be a good steward in management. One of the most important measures to put in place is to consider what limitations you want on who has access to your supplies. You can do this in a few different ways. One way is to put one person in charge of receiving requests of supplies. The manager can then go retrieve the supplies and fulfill the request. A second way of keeping tabs on these things are to secure the supplies in a locked area and share the key or code with a small group of trusted employees. These individuals can then go retrieve the supplies and divvy them out as necessary. Finally, you can open the gates completely and allow all staff to take what they need whenever they need them and log their use on an inventory sheet. There are other great ways to manage your supplies. First, get someone in there that loves to organize and put everything in its own place. This makes tracking very easy so that you can keep tabs on when you need to order new supplies. If you have a rather large warehouse, it would also be good to make a list of where you can locate items by groups. Finally, this may seem like a no-brainer, but always use up what you have first before ordering new stuff. Keeping a living inventory of your materials will help curb this situation. Keeping an inventory will also help you strategize on doing bulk orders, which will save you money in the long run. If you over-order, you may end up using the newer supplies rather than the older ones, which could go bad after a while. Anything perishable obviously can go bad rather quickly. But also, paper can turn yellow, and dry erase markers or toner cartridges can dry out. Other items that you may not have thought about also need to get used up. Certain cleaning products can deteriorate over time. Your fire extinguisher that you probably haven't touched in years, that thing could be out of date as well. Batteries lose their charge over time. Motor oil and paint will corrode. Even bottled wine will go bad if it's not properly stored. Again, 
Keeping a good inventory and strategically ordering will help you from needlessly wasting money in the long run. The final part of your inventory management plan is to remember how this also fits in with your business plan. Without supplies, your business won't be able to function, so it is highly recommended that you add this component within your business plan. Many businesses will include how their supply chain fits in with their SWOT analysis in their marketing plan. It is much better to have your supply chain as a strength rather than a weakness. When it comes to logistics of your supplies, you'll also want to stress facts over assumptions. You are in a much stronger position of knowing when your materials will arrive rather than hoping of when your items might be there. It's also important to know where to find them in your own warehouse. By staying current with your technology, you should be able to track where your items are at all times, whether that be an aisle 8 in your warehouse or one day out by sea on a cargo ship. Without accurate tracking, you may put yourself in a troubling position of having to run out and buy extra supplies at full retail cost out of desperation. Again, knowing that you have adequate supplies is important to state in your business plan. Without supplies, your plan will definitely fail. Maintaining your supply chain is a crucial piece to operating your business. Remember to keep good communication with your suppliers, to accurately track your supply list, and to keep your supply chain in mind when you're making your business plan. Keep working hard. You can do this.